All right, so I did my review of the Green Lantern teaser trailer, and then at WonderCon, they came out with like this four minute trailer that everyone wanted me to talk about. So now the second official theatrical trailer's out, so we're gonna talk about all of this stuff. So just like in the WonderCon trailer, you get the gist. Ivan Ooze from Power Rangers gives Hal Jordan the Green Lantern ring, then Hal Jordan's inducted into the Green Lantern Corps where he's the first human ever to do so, and now he's gonna like you save the universe and whatnot. Now what I like about this second trailer and the WonderCon footage is that unlike the teaser trailer, these are put together to be epic. The first trailer was put together to be like some sort of comedy. No, no, no. Sorry, I gotta run. Make yourself at home, okay? There's uh, water in the tap. I don't know, whoever put together that teaser trailer should probably be fired, at least. And by fired, I mean, you know, beaten with a rubber hose. And it does show a little bit of humor, but it's cool humor. Like when he's training with Sinestro, that ring can make anything. He can make a Gatling gun, a flamethrower. What does he make? A sword of human. And you can hear the condescending tone right there. Like you can hear what he's really thinking. A sword. Oh, human. Which, I mean, I would make a sword. Swords are cool. Preferably though, the Gatling gun for the win. And you got some good voice actors in here too. You got Jeffrey Rush. The ring turns thought into reality. Its limits are only what you can imagine. Michael Clark Duncan. Remember, your enemy is not gonna play fair. But it's natural that Michael Clark Duncan would play that character's role. Whenever you have a character that's like, you know, as big as about seven rhinos, get John Coffey from the Green Mile. It only makes perfect sense. And we see more of Peter Sarsgaard, AKA Dr. Big Head Hector Hammond. We're gonna get you well again. I've never felt better in my life. Which you didn't see much of him in the WonderCon footage, so I'm glad they showed more of him in this trailer. But the ultimate evil is supposedly a big yellow and black cloud. Which I know is supposed to be like parallax, which is like this physical manifestation of fear and ultimate evil or whatnot. I just don't know how menacing I can find a cloud. Although it took out Ivan Ooze from Power Rangers, so there is that. And it is capable of destroying entire civilizations. And then after that, it's just a lot of cool looking stuff, a lot of epic music, a lot of just Green Lantern badassery. And what I like most about this trailer, as well with the WonderCon footage, is that this guy- What happens now? Is is nowhere in either trailers. It's like after the teaser trailer, they were like, oh, we don't want people knowing that Jar Jar Binks has taken human form now, so cut him out of every other trailer. So three trailers in all, one shitty trailer, two epic trailers. The Green Lantern's looking like it's gonna be an awesome movie. You know, to kind of show that DC has more than, you know, Superman and Batman and that's it. I would definitely say don't write off the Green Lantern because of the teaser trailer. We'll do our best to forget about the teaser trailer. I think Warner Brothers will too. I say we give it a shot now. So I put a link for the new trailer below. Go check it out. Come back here, comment below. Let me know what you think. And that's another question. What would you make with your Green Lantern ring? Anything at all. Apparently you can make anything. I would make a nuke. I don't know if that'd be smart, but I would. Or I would manifest that chick from Fast Five right in front of me. Just like, <laughs> yeah, awesome. That is great. This ring is the best. Thank you, Ivan Ooze. You misuse the power. Yeah, but you, you never did. Don't lie to me. And if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.